everybody. So I'm glad you're here today, um, just beginning our class, talking a lot about oceanography and what that is. All right, so oceanography is the science, the study of the oceans, and that includes the actual oceans themselves, the organisms that live inside of them, and the landscapes that border them, so our coastal environments. Now what's really cool is that oceanography um, involves all of the other sciences. Um, so if you love the oceans and you love science, there is a place for you to study oceanography. So this includes people that really like to study, that do physics. And so in our class, we'll be talking about how our oceans circulate and move, um, the interactions that, that those movements have with other aspects of the oceans and the atmosphere. Um, so that relates a lot to physics. We talk about chemistry. So what is the composition of the ocean and how do different processes change that composition? Um, people that study like chemical oceanography will also be looking at things related to anoxic zones. So what happens in our coastal areas as we have river systems adding uh, water into the system? How does it change the chemistry um, content of our oceans? All right, and we have our physical oceanographers. Um, we have people who like to study biology. That's probably a large group of the people I get taking this class. They love whales and dolphins and sea lions and all that cool stuff. Those are really important, but that's just one tiny part of marine biology. So our marine biologists study um, ocean ecosystems. It often involves a lot of chemistry and even the physics of how things are moving around um, and how that leads to changes in the ecosystem and how the ecosystems change over time. We have people that love geology. Um, so people studying geology of the oceans um, are people that looking at the ocean structures themselves, some of the geologic processes that happen and involve the ocean. So you can have eruptions underwater, it can also lead to changes in chemistry. Um, people that study sediments, um, the sediments can contain microorganism fossils. So there's a lot of kind of interaction between these different fields. Um, but, and these are just some of the things that people do. We also have people that like to um, look at climate change. So our climate, our climate system also involves interactions with the oceans. The way the oceans move, they disperse temperature, um, and that affects our climate zones. So people who are very interested in climate change, some of them are also our oceanographers. So we have climate studies. And then we also have engineers. And they do all kinds of things. Um, it can be anything from trying to harness energy in our oceans to trying to understand kind of coastal communities and how they're affected by the oceans and then even creating or changing structures that we put around the oceans. And again, these are just two examples of the like infinite number of things that people do. So that's a little bit about oceans uh, or oceanography. And the question kind of comes down to it, you know, why do we care so much about our oceans? So if I were to draw, and please don't laugh, a little picture of the earth, and I'm going to draw it, we're going to be kind of put ourselves on here. There you got North America, Europe, and forgive me, there's some Africa, kind of do Southeast Asia, there we go. So we've got the earth, don't laugh. What we notice on this is that if you look at the total surface of the earth, where our oceans are, makes up 70% of what we see covered on the earth. So our planet is really cool because it's wet. Like we've got these beautiful oceans. We've seen it from our astronauts taking pictures from the moon. We are the blue marble because of those oceans. The oceans include all of the saline or salty water on the earth. Now when we go and we think about all the water on earth, so all that water in our hydrosphere, it includes our glaciers, our ice caps, our groundwater, rivers, streams, lakes. Of all of that water, 97% is in the ocean. And that includes our seas, all that stuff. 97% is salty. Less than 3% is in our lakes, 
streams. I'm going to write GW for groundwater, um, our ice. Um, make sure I got all of it. Don't want to forget anything. Okay, so this is all the water that we find at the surface. Of all of that water, most of it's salty and it's in our oceans. Now what's really cool about our oceans, uh, when we talk about them, you know, I can see that this would be the Pacific Ocean, the Atlantic Ocean, this is the Southern Ocean, Indian Ocean would be kind of rotated around where we can't see. We, we put these divisions on our oceans. We have oceans and seas. It's all just a human construct. In reality, our oceans are one. So water moves through all of the different oceans and it kind of can come in and out of the Mediterranean Sea. So all of our water is connected in some way or another. Um, we might have land barriers like we have down in Panama although it's open now because of humans. Uh, but anyway, all that water that we have, it does move around the oceans. If not directly, it will eventually get around and it circulates. And that is really, really cool. So the oceans um, are major mechanisms for transport of temperatures, salinities, chemistry, all of that stuff. Um, we said before that the ocean is seven, or the earth is 70% water. If you want to keep this in mind, that is 361 million square miles. Okay, so it's very big. Um, if we want to look at the depths of the ocean, um, on average, the, it, the average depth is 3,796 meters. And if that meters are not your thing, you need to put that in perspective. That is 12,451 feet. Okay. And the average temperature of the ocean is actually quite cold. The average temperature is 3.9 degrees Celsius, which is 39 degrees Fahrenheit pretty chilly. So remember that the next time you go on your tropical vacation, that that's just kind of an outlier for the average of the ocean. Anyway, and the last thing when we think about our earth um, and being this big ocean planet, um, we want to remember that the earth is 4.6 billion years old. Okay. The oceans themselves are 4 billion years old. So they've been around pretty much most of the time since the earth started to form. Um, anyway, so that's a quick glimpse at what oceanography is um, and the oceans and why they're important.